Alright, here we go. Back on Hogwarts Legacy. Playing more Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go. In last video, we broke the rules. We went to the forbidden section in the library. And then we saw this really weird memory of this girl who looked very evil. Um, yeah, just, just go check out that video. It's in the top right if, if you really want to. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But we're going to Herbology class. Yes! More classes. Amazing. I actually enjoy Hogwarts classes, but I don't enjoy class in real life. It's very shit, in it? But, I mean, it's magic in it, so... She's wearing Pungus Onion again. Oh, hello. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is Professor to see you again, Garlic. Laura, dear. That's her oh, name. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Uh, we do look yeah. forward to growing together. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Professor. How thrilling it is to have everyone Jeez. back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing Wait, cultivated I don't think I've in herbology is I've ever seen a more fit knowledge. teacher than her, you the know. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Jeez, mate. Now then, hell. today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh, not this. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> oh, no. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh, gods. All right, here we go. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, yeah, quick, quick, mate, Jesus. Fucking hell. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. About that, yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off All you right. go. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. What do we need to do? Ditany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigamilk potion, oh. as you all should know from there Professor we Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Ditany will be ready to use in Wigamilk potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Oh, wait, so they're like a and battle let them have a good chomping. Thingy. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come Mr. back and see me when Pruitt. you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Leander. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. 
Oh. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheers, man. Well, here we are. Home of the China. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind. Now, see that? Get all of them. Just toss the cabbages. All of them. They're mine. They'll do the rest. Not a few. All of them. What's what I need to do? Tab. Hold tab. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. And hit tab. Oh, oh. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get there. But mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming. Well, they attack me. Honking daffodils in tatters. No, it won't. My foot in is vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Yeah, do you want to do? Do you want? I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there, trolls and hogsmead and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and deathcap has more of them if you're keen. Other plants too, ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go. Talk to the and professor. That helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Oh, okay. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Clopton? Did he get his ass <laughs> handed to him? Why? It's not all right, Professor. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I Funny think boy. you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labour. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose what? that's everything. Do How's come that, by for a chat does sometime. Make sense? I so enjoy checking in with my new students. What do you mean? Tend how are plants gonna tend to me? And now we need to go to potions class. Yes, potions. <laughs> <laughs> potions. <laughs> <There's something in. laughs> potions. He's got a limp to him, doesn't he? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell Takar. us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, no. but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay, you seem like a dickhead. I don't know, I just, I, I get a bad Use vibe. Use a strong, it, you know. even motion when crushing your ingredients. There we go. Speed up. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay, all right, yeah. Very precise. There we go, okay, yeah. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. There we go. Easy. Mm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. It was and easy. And from what I hear of your recent I had to do was press a few buttons. You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. 
Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Oh, it was definitely skill. I'm so good at pressing buttons. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Gareth Wait, Weasley. Are you, you sound related like to a Professor prick. Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. I see. Listen, okay. anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. There's a million of the I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know. Should we? Should, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Oh my god, it does it again! Okay. I. Uh, mini, 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 uh, Your mom's a prick. And you're a ho. Fine. Very well. I'll bring you a fooper feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Okay, I suppose we're getting the feather then. Aren't we? Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Fooper feather. <laughs> we're actually we're actually doing it, aren't we? You potions on Alright, Gareth. What you got for me? Here's the fooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I swear if I get detention for this, I might murder you. I might murder your aunt too. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Oh no, you foxhead. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Oh, what's an idiot? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Oh, no. <laughs> Wasn't Mr. me. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh, my God, of course. All right, we're getting in trouble for this. I might murder this guy, Gareth, you know. Tickhead. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh, God. Should we play dumb? I think I think I will. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Okay. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay, Professor, thank you. Jesus. Gareth, you dickhead. You... You dickhead. What? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. 
Heard him talking about taking responsibility. You got me into trouble, you- No. Yeah, it Professor Sharp was annoyed, was but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Be better, mate. Otherwise, next time, I'll kill you! I'll murder your entire family, ruin your bloodline, and mess up the entire future. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Always subscribe and always remember to stay away from under females. I need to know now. No, now. Will you love me again? I need to know now. No, now. Will you love me again?